It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Where did the mage flee to? The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. So... Okay, so what happened is whatever happened here, then they went to Velen. That's when the elf mage, I'm assuming that's who we're talking about here, because um, that's the only one that went to Kira, went to Kira trying to look for Siri. Siri ended up with Dandelion? And then that whole thing happened? Is that the order of events? I guess we'll find out. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Yes. Look at what you've brought down on us. If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Maybe? Um, yeah, calm down. Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now. But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. <laughs> you I'll deal with later. So? Henri, old man. We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Uh, no. Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Vision, he went flying in that direction. Well, then let's go that direction, Yennefer. What are we looking for? Look for Something's a body? pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Are you? She is. She should have told me she has force powers. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. The Wild Hunt. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Well, okay. It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Siri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Siri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindusfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Uh, let's let's go there right now. Wait, can't we go together? 
right now. But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very Shut well. up. Let's go. Just Stay close to me. <laughs> Just because I accidentally push buttons. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Okay. How does she know that I, I am constantly missing buttons? Like when I want to hit T and I accidentally hit E. Quite a few years e. since I was last on Hindusfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Yeah, that's... Ooh, yeah, definitely wild hunt. You could tell because of the frost. It's, it's like, um... It's like they're really bad at covering their trail. Wherever they go, they just freeze everything over. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Oh, crap. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. Uh, they say the Wild Hunt destroyed your village. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Hmm. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Oh, man, I really want to tell her to stop. I really don't know which... What, oh, gosh, this is such a hard choice. I'm glad this one wasn't timed. If I tell her to go on, she gets what she wants. If I tell her enough... Um... Hmm. Crap. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, go on. Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. Yeah. We're looking for a young woman. Name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This... This Siri. Uh, has she a scar? Here on her cheek. Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before... Before it all. She was in the stables. With Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Uh-oh. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... And her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ska Craven. My apologies, Craven. Craven could have told you more. That was interesting. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Uh... A coward who willingly seeks battle? 
Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. I mean, you, you guys do mark, mock our laws, let's, let's be honest. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. <laughs> they said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I mean, it's... It's what I do. I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvark and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Okay. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. I see. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. <laughs> that was that was a really subtle eyebrow twitch. Um, wow. Okay, so I gotta do that. Wow, I'm on this like island. Okay, that's where I was before, and now I'm like way over here. Man, teleportation. It's cheating. So find Freya's uh, garden and look for Craven and find out Ciri's in Skellige. I'm pretty sure she's not in Skellige because she teleported back to Velen. But we found out that she's not in Velen, so where the heck is she? I don't know. Uh, I get that at level 22, so I could just like upgrade things here. That's good. Uh, I probably should just. Hmm. I feel like I should just get this up to rank two. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. And then that one. Except. Cool. So we leveled up. Where By the time I'm done with this. Might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could exactly. stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Damn you, woman. I think I heard, like, a wraith, which, um, makes me want to do that and get this. Okay. It was a wraith. Okay. No, that's cool. See, I'm prepared for this kind of thing. Whoop. Whoop. See, I'm a, I'm a wraith killer. Uh, is it? Come at me. See, don't get greedy. You never get greedy with wraiths. That's that was my lesson that I've learned so hard. Uh, I will just loot all of that. Sure. And loot the wraith. This is how we do. Okay. 
well, that finished fast. <laughs> I I was I was expecting a bit more from that. Maybe like a stronger fight. I think I found the garden. Where do I make blood offering? A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shite. Not, not again. Not again. So he's like forever starving or something? He doesn't Oof. seem happy. Oof, to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. <laughs> Good one liner, Geralt. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. We might. Actually, that's a really good idea. Good job, Geralt. I'm assuming this is the tree. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. <laughs> Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thing, mages. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yeah. yeah. Look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Cam Morin out from under you. Go already. I don't, I don't, I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Raven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. What's that? It's like a tree branch over like a great- Something down there. Can't see a thing. Something down there. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. see a thing. Craven trod carefully. He he trod something. Ooh, I wasn't expecting to be able to go in here. I was expecting that to be locked. But I'll take that broken rake. <laughs> oh, key required. Okay, so there there are locked things. What about this one? Nope. Oh, okay, key required. Whatevs. What else we got? Okay, so we have a trail of blood that goes down. Am I missing anything up here before I fall down? Uh, there's this path that I think just loops around back to the front. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay. And... There's something down there. What the heck was that? A wolf. Okay. That's fine. I can handle wolves. Um, Jennifer. Right. Okay, well, let's hop down then. Because this seems like a good idea. Is there anything back over here? Nope. <laughs> that's fine. Don't die. Well, I slid. That's pretty cool. Die, wolf. Pretty tough wolf. Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> that's that's not what I said, Geralt. That's <laughs> I was I was complimenting him, and you spun my words into a completely different way. It's it's, it's what he's good at. He's a wordsmith. Um. Footprints. Oh, there's a body. Is he no dead? Bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. <laughs> She's like, I heard that because I'm like right next to her at that point. <laughs> oh Monster man. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Yeah, probably this poor man that just died terribly. Thank you.